Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, and what you do That's why I'm not in my life with you I won't please you in any way I can I won't share my world, don't you understand? channel if you are new here my name is Shanice I would love for you guys to join the fam join the gang and hit that subscribe button down below I would love to have you guys here so as y'all just seen I just came out the shower I smell fresh I smell clean I look good I feel good all of that good stuff I just did my hair I put it in this little ponytail I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like this but I'm loving it for now and I did my skincare routine. Now I just got to do my body care. But there is a new product that I want to share with you guys that I have been absolutely loving lately. I've been using it every single day. So it is the Cetaphil Advanced Relief Lotion with Shea Butter. And thank you to Cetaphil for sponsoring this portion of the video. I appreciate it because if you have been following me on my skincare journey, I have been a huge fan of Cetaphil face products from the jump. One of my first viral skincare videos. I actually use their um, face wash and it was one of my staple products in my skincare routine. Absolutely loved it, changed my skin forever. I can go check that video, I'll link it in the description box. But I have recently came across their body care line. I didn't even really know that they had one. And of course, because if you know me, you know I don't really use lotions like that. It's not something that I would necessarily pick up, but this is amazing. Honestly, so good, so moisturizing, and it has definitely become one of my new favorite products. So let me be honest, when I first tried this product, I was like, dang, it's a lotion. I don't really know how this is going to work on my skin. I've never found a lotion that has worked for me. And honestly, I have nothing bad to say about it. It does everything that I need it to do. It moisturizes. It leaves my skin with a glow as well. It doesn't leave me sticky. It doesn't leave me itchy from just having dry skin because my body... Whenever I use lotions, usually I'm like cracking, I'm itching because my skin is literally so dry, it's cracking. This, y'all, you are going to love it if you have dry skin. The consistency is definitely like a lotion. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It contains a new blend of vitamin B3 and B5 and hydrating glycerin to help repair skin up moisture barrier. And it is formulated and backed by dermatologists. It is clinically proven to smooth roughness and provide 48 hour hydration. It defends against dryness, irritation, tightness, roughness, and weakened skin. It almost feels like a serum on the skin. It just glides on really nicely and it's not sticky or greasy. It's perfect. And like usually if I use any type of lotion, I'll need to reapply um, during the day or even the next day but this it lasts <laughs> it lasts 48 hours just like it says see how it gives me a nice subtle glow do y'all see that anyways if you guys are interested in trying out Cetaphil's advanced relief lotion with shea butter highly recommend i will leave a link down in the description box and you can also find it at your local target or on target.com Anyways, y'all, I gotta go get ready. I am going out for lunch and then I'm going to a football game. And we I was kind of supposed to be there already by 2.30. I don't think Jasmine and Mona are ready anyway. So I'm about to go get ready. I don't think I'm gonna do any makeup really. Maybe just my brows. I'm feeling my skin today. So it probably is gonna be a no makeup day for me. So
all right guys so this is what i'm wearing to the game i'm just hoping it's not too hot i kind of went outside it wasn't it wasn't really that bad so i'm gonna stick to what i'm wearing I'm wearing this usc hoodie which is brian's and then i'm just wearing obviously some biker shorts and then i'm wearing my ones and then at the games you have to either bring like a really small bag or a clear bag so i'm wearing a clear bag so i can fit all my ish in here and then for my hair i've just kept it in the ponytail wrapped it down tied it down a little bit and that's it so we are finna go Okay guys, so we made it to Prank Bar and I'm here with the girlies. We're going to the game today. <laughs> so yeah, we're trying to pre-game right now. We have no food in our stomach though. I have no food. I do, you uh -huh. do you? I have a protein shake. That's it. Damn. Sandwich from Starbucks. But I was planning on, I wanted food. But I didn't think. Maybe we just have to do the um, football experience and get the hot dogs, <laughs> whatever's there. Uh, oh no. I'm hopeful. Cheers! Cheers! The calls and the puts. She needs me um, dropping her little stock market lingo, and I'm like, ooh, teach me more. <laughs> fresh cab like that's been sitting in a well oh. for like 20 years that would be amazing so, like, yeah and then just to have the whole experience yeah. and to walk freely and be in the like nature to <laughs> cute outfit very cute, cute outfit oh, long moments yeah we charcuterie are. boards bitch you know i'm down I'm we see, made I'm it to the game we made it to the games is jasmine's first time is it your first time yes. in the game Okay, it's Mola's first time too, so we already missed kickoff. Brian is like, where are you guys? Where are you? We here, baby. We here. People want to see your face. So we just have to pregame real quick. You know, as ladies, we're just late, so it is what it is. We have a whole first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter to go, and we need to get some food. Okay, guys, we got a barbecue chicken sandwich at the game. There's Mona got a pretzel. That's what you want. And a hot dog. And a hot dog. Okay. That's that. Yes, y'all first game. So cute. Jasmine is hungry as shit. I want to be sure though. happy sunday it is 9 30 in the morning and we are headed somewhere somewhere special well not even special yet but 
we are doing venue searching here in Los Angeles. So, little wedding update, I guess. We're no longer having our wedding in Texas. So we're looking for venues here in LA and I found one that I really liked. I think Brian kind of liked it too. What did you say it looked like? What did I say? He said it looked like some movie, I think. It reminded me of some movie, I don't remember. Um, so yeah, we're about to go check it out. We're on our way there and then we're gonna go to the beach and relax. You know, we're gonna end off Stormy's birthday weekend at the beach, her favorite place. Right, baby? Hey, so yeah we're on our way there now we're gonna be there in about 30 minutes so i guess i'll see you guys when we get there it's all royal somebody's coming to your way they're driving this way they're like Ooh. it already looks good it's so pretty up here it's beautiful out here <laughs> These are the girls. It's so gorgeous. I can see myself getting married here and being very happy. I don't know about, I don't know about the price, but let's <laughs> see. Come here. <laughs> so that's a that's pretty. Yeah, but some couples like to bring in a stage. So if you guys want to be above everyone, you guys can do that. Some couples like to do like some actual flooring for the aisle. If you guys want mm -hmm. to do that, basically. Um, some couples like to just do the open tile look with some like flowers, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, the sunset's right behind the hill over there. She so guys always get some like really pretty shots walking down the aisle with like the sunset and the gate in the background. Just so you guys know, there's never something down there and up here in the same night. So, oh. we have like a package, we can do like the villa and the Grand Prix together, that's what the wedding last night did. So mm -hmm. they did their like ceremony cocktail hour up here and then they did like their reception over there. But um, you guys definitely don't need all that space. No. <laughs> Most people don't need all that space. And so, um, over here, this is like where you guys head after the ceremony basically. So mm -hmm. you guys have a bar right there, so okay. you can set up one of the bars right there and make it pretty easy for you guys. And then yeah, like throughout here they just like to put like the high top cocktail tables basically. I feel like because it's already so beautiful, you don't have to do much decorating. Yeah. Sure. It gives me like um, Spanish vibes, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Like so all the tile there. work and stuff. This whole entire spot, beautiful view still. We see both on this list. <laughs> you gotta do your dance. I do my dance this way, you do your dance. Yeah, this is like a really popular setup. I'll show you guys another photo too, so you guys can kind of get more ideas of what you guys can do over here. Look at this. I like that. Oh, a photo right here. That would be so oh, nice. Yeah, the photo. <laughs> yeah, you have to put the bars kind of run on the side, and then usually sometimes I see the other one on the side yeah, if you guys want to get a couple. Mm -hmm. yeah, but Look at this. Color wow, this is so amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this right here is a good one. I love this. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah, the view is really nice. So, what they've been doing, a lot of couples have been kind of angling it towards like the vineyard with like the mountains in the background. Yeah. Um, and putting the aisle between the two palm trees. So, um, it's like universal when you hear another tour going on, basically. <laughs> So we are at Home Depot now. We went to the beach and then Ryan realized that he didn't have the pegs for the tent that we have. So now we're at Home Depot and he went to go get some pegs. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because I got a sub and I hate when my subs get soggy. Sh shit is annoying. So yeah, and I low-key, I want to eat it on the beach. Like I just want that vibe. And I know y'all can relate. When you have your food, you want to be comfortable. Like you want to put on a TV show and just be relaxed. I don't want to eat in the car. You know, I'm just not going to be relaxed and I'm not going to enjoy it as much. At least that's what I think. <laughs> so anyways, we are waiting for him to get those pegs so we can head to the beach. We are going to Dockweiler Beach. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. Stormy's probably so excited. She loves the beach. She loves the sand. After this, we're going to have to probably give her a bath because she's going to be dirty. <laughs> So, yeah, we got a few snacks, and then Brian got some lasagna and some other stuff. So, 
I guess I'll see you guys when we get to the beach. Oh, and let me know your thoughts on the venue. I really loved it. It was it was nice. Very pricey because we are in LA or we are in California, but it was very nice. We made it to the beach. Woo. See the thing? It's time to have my Subway sandwich. Y'all, I don't know why Subway got rid of their Subway vinaigrette. It's kind of annoying. Like, isn't that supposed to be a staple in Subway? Weird. So I just got sweet onion and mayonnaise. And this shit is soggy as hell. I got a turkey sub. But my Tony, sauce. come here. Get your butt in here. is a little bit cold but it's a beautiful day outside today it's not too hot it's not cold perfect weather that's what they say about california california has a perfect weather so yeah i'm loving it so nice out here i want to blowkey bring stormy in this water but i know she's gonna freak out so she's in the tent right now taking a nap with brian y'all look at these sleepy heads they all just sleeping peacefully here in this tent it's so cute <laughs> I don't know how they're sleeping with this loud ass music in the background though. Hi my baby. Hi Stormy. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us There's something different about the way we are Pull me. 
cup after cup Yeah, it's just the way we do it Anything just to block out the real life 